What is up homies, my name is Felix and today I am here back with another video that I'm bringing you inside of LMMS and this one I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a Playboy Cardi type beat inside LMMS and I've made a fair share of these type of beats I would say and they're pretty easy to make and pretty you know fun to make. So yeah before we get into this video I just wanted to say that there's going to be some new music coming out produced by me pretty soon so stay tuned for that. Let these demons in my head there's also going to be my sample pack that I've been working on coming out pretty soon, so stay tuned for that as well. So yeah, that's pretty dope. And then make sure you guys check out my Instagram and my SoundCloud down in the description below if you wish to, along with the playlist of songs I've produced and all that other stuff as well. So yeah, now let's get into the video. So the first thing that you want to keep in mind is the drums that you're using. That's probably the most important thing for this one. So I'm going to go to where I keep my drum sounds, and then you can also get rid of all these here and then open up your beat and bassline editor and get rid of this. So basically the first drum sound that I wanna pull in is this one right here. And it even says Cardi 808 right here. And this 808 is a Zaytoven 808 and this is just a pretty classic 808. This is the one that you've heard in like a million different popular tracks. So yeah, this 808 is pretty much like a staple for making beats. So I'm gonna put that in there and then I'm also gonna pull in just like a random hi-hat. This one will work just fine. And then I'm also going to put in a clap. As you can see, this one says classic Cardi clap. And this is a clap that Playboy Cardi has in a lot of his beats and stuff like that. Then the next thing that we can do is kind of optional. So I'm gonna put in one of these. I'm gonna put in this one. And this snare is a pretty standard snare. This is, I think it's just another Zaytoven snare. And then I'm also gonna put in an open hi-hat. And I think I'm gonna put in this one. And then I'm gonna drag it next to the other hi-hat. And then I also just pulled in a kick. So as it is right now, I think this is fine for the drums. I might add more drums if I want to later, but for now, this is pretty good because these beats are usually pretty simple. So we want to keep it, you know, relatively simple. All right. So before anyone asks, because I know that people are going to ask me about it, all of these drum sounds can be found in pretty much any drum kit that you download. If you go to freedrumkits.net or if you go to r slash drum kits, the subreddit, you will find tons and tons and tons of drum sounds. So yeah, go to those sources and you will have drum kits galore. Also for this beat specifically if you just search up like free Zaytoven drum kit you will find pretty much everything that you need for this video it will have all the sounds in there so yeah that is my answer for when everybody asks me about where to get drum kits so now I'm going to do this three times and I'm gonna just set up like a simple drum pattern so the clap goes after every two just like so you know how we usually do it and then also the hi-hats I'm just going to do this and then I'm gonna go into the piano roll select these and then click, drag it over, and then do that for the rest of the four bars. And now this is just gonna sound like this, pretty simple. And as you might be able to hear right there, it sounds a little bit slow. So for these beats, you usually want it to be around like 160-ish BPM. And now you can hear it sounds a lot better. It's more, you know, up to speed, up to tempo. So now that I've made this just simple little drum pattern, I'm going to bring in a VST. Probably going to bring in a VST that has like a good pad sound. And also we want a flute sound. So I'm going to find two VSTs that do that. Okay, so I just pulled in three different plugins and I chose Tyrell N6, IOTA Mini, and Alpha Free. And I think these all have some presets that will suit kind of the sound that I'm looking for. So with these beats, you kind of want to go for more of like a happier-ish, but kind of like ethereal, like atmospheric kind of sounding sound. So basically what I'm going to do is go and pick sounds that I think will work inside of each of these plugins. So for Alpha Free, I'm going to look and I'm going to look for kind of like a pad sound. All right, so I chose this preset. Set. and now what I'm gonna do is go in here and I'm gonna make some chords so I think for the scale on this one I'm gonna do major and then I'm gonna do G major so I'm gonna right click here do mark current scale and then I'm gonna start off with a oh, I'm gonna do this here and then go back to last note and now you'll be able to stretch this so I'm gonna start off with a G major chord so basically if you don't know how to make chords and you don't know how chords work you should watch my video on how to make chords and chord progressions and that will probably help you a lot but basically this is a G major chord right here and it's gonna sound like this but what I want to do is make it a G major seventh chord 
So to make it a G major seventh chord, basically there's three spaces in between these two notes here and then two spaces. And that's the pattern for a major chord. So if you want to make a seventh chord and then a ninth chord and then an eleventh chord and then etc etc, you basically just keep following this pattern. So three notes in between here, two notes, and now it should be three notes in between here and this will sound good. As you can hear, it sounds nice and pretty. So yeah, basically that's how you make a seventh chord. If I wanted to make a ninth chord, I would do this. So yeah, basically seventh chords sound really nice in these Playboy Cardi type of beats. So the next chord that I'm gonna do is a D major seventh. So I'm just gonna do the same thing here and then I'm gonna do this. But don't mind the fact that it says this one is out of key, just ignore that because it still sounds good as you can hear. This probably just means that the scale is not actually G major, but just ignore that for now because this is not a music theory lesson. So basically, Playboy Cardi beats, as I said, are really, really simple. So for this, I'm just going to have probably two or maybe three chords. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to shorten them a little bit, and then I'm going to do shift and then click over. And I'm going to do control A and then shift click it over again. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of variation right here. So basically I just added these little notes at the end here and now I'm going to select all the bottom notes like this by hitting Control and Shift at the same time. And then now do Shift click and drag to the side and then do Control and down. And I'm also going to just do this. And now basically I'm just gonna leave this as it is and I'm going to go into the Tyrell N6 plugin and I'm going to pick a preset in there. Okay, so I just picked this JX Choir thing. And now what I'm gonna do is actually adjust this sound a little bit. So I'm going to just solo out this one. And as you can hear, it kind of fades in. So I want to take that away by turning down the attack. And basically, this is a similar thing that we do with the 808 when we add an attack. So basically, the attack is if you move it up, the sound starts later. And if you move it down, the sound starts, you know, right when you play it. So now, instead of fading in, it's going to sound more like this. So as you can hear, it doesn't really fade in anymore. And now I'm going to turn on this chorus thing and just turn it down a little bit. And now this will just sound wider and fuller. And together, these sounds sound like this. And I think what I might do is make a copy of this four bar pattern and then do a variation at the end of the last four bars with this. But for now, this is good. And I'm going to just go into IOTA Mini and then I'm going to choose a like synthy sound. Okay, so IOTA Mini didn't really have the flute sound that I was looking for. So I just brought in Sonatina Orchestra because Sonatina's flute is really, really good. And what I'm going to do is still keep this IOTA Mini because I might layer these pads. All right, so I just finished this flute, and then I also brought in this pad, this clouds pad from Iota Mini, and I just kind of layered it with the other stuff, and now the whole thing together sounds like this. So yeah, I'm probably going to extend all this to 8 bars just to give it a little bit more variation, and then I'll be back after that. Alright, so I just extended this whole melodic part and it now sounds like this. And what I think I'm going to do actually is swap out the Sonatina for a flute that sounds a little bit crappier, like a little bit lower quality. Which is something that Redtron has a pretty good sound for. So what I'm going to do is just copy this over and paste it in here and now delete this. And now it should sound a little bit better I feel like. So yeah, anyways, that's how that's sounding, and then I'm going to change a couple notes at the end, but for now what I'm going to do is move on to the 808. So with the 808, I know it's at C, because it says C here, so I'm going to click this, and then I'm going to go into the envelope, turn the amount up, and then turn the attack up just a little bit. So now I'm going to click in the pattern that I want, so I'm going to solo this with these. So 
So basically this is the pattern that I want and then I'm going to go in here and just, well I actually don't need to copy these because I just know that it's going to be G and D. So we're going to go in here and change these up to G for this bar and then for this one we're going to put it at D and then basically just rinse and repeat. And now because we can't have our 808 sounded muddy and stuff, what we have to do is go in here and drag this like this and adjust it to where our 808s are. And now as you can see, they're kind of mirroring where the pattern is. And what we can do now is erase this, erase this, erase this, and all these other bottom ones. And as you can see, I put all of these two notes above the other notes that were there so that we can just now go shift and then down to. So yeah, now with the 808 pattern, the whole thing is gonna sound like this. So yeah, I think that sounds nice. And now I'm going to work on some of the other drums a little bit, like these sounds here. All right, so I added in the other drums and then I also added this little rim shot just to give it a little bit more bounce and stuff. And now I'm also going to bring in the kick here, wherever the 808 hits. All right, so I added the kick pattern and then I added a couple little kicks where the 808 is not hitting, just to give it some added bounce and some added spice. So yeah, now at this point, this beat is pretty much done. The only other thing really I would say is if you want to add a couple of hi-hat rolls, you can here and there. But honestly, Playboy Cardi's beats don't have a lot of hi-hat rolls. A lot of time, it's pretty much just a simple two-step hi-hat pattern. Because like I said, these beats are usually pretty simple and, you know, pretty nice and easy to make. So now what I'm going to do is separate these all out into their own beat and baseline editor, which I'm going to go over it again for those of you who don't know. You do copy and then you create a new one and then do paste. And then you go back into here and then do reset or clear all notes and then reset name if you want to. And then you just do that for each and every one of these. All right, so I just separated all these into their own beat and baseline editor, and then I named them and placed some stuff in here. Another thing that I did was I changed out the alpha free sound, and now it sounds like this. I think this sounds just a little bit better quality. I also went in here, I went to effects, and then I just put an equalizer on it, and I cut out some of the low end. And I'm also, I think, going to do the same thing with these other pad sounds. Okay, so I just made some minor adjustments to each sound. I added some reverb onto the flute, and then I also went into the actual Alpha Free plugin, and I changed some of the parameters, like I turned this release and the decay down a little bit, and then I turned this filter down. And then I mess with the EQ a little bit more, and I still might even mess with it even more than that, but for now, this is how I like it. So yeah, pretty much the only thing that we have left to do is lay out the beat, and then we'll be completely done. Alright, so I just laid out the beat, and yes, I know it looks really complicated, but it's not that complicated. What I basically did was I took these synthy stab things, and then I put them pretty much throughout the whole beat, and then I basically just dropped all of the drums except for the kick right here, and then every time the kick comes in, so right here, right here, right here, right here, I took out the open hats, and then I also took out the snare or the little percussion noise and then I kind of alternated that and then I also took out the flute and then also just like one of the pads or both of them so yeah pretty much it looks kind of complicated but it's not actually that complicated I just took out stuff here and there and each different section of the beat so that it doesn't get too repetitive and then one thing I also did was I added this little thing where I take the hi-hats out before the next eight bars drop in so it sounds like this and that's basically just how I laid out the beat and everything. Oh, and I almost forgot that I put a declipper on the master, and this is pretty much a lifesaver for getting rid of that muddy noise that you have with your kicks and 808s. As you can hear, it's not that muddy anymore. It sounds a little bit cleaner and nicer. So yeah, basically that's gonna do it for this beat. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something new from this. These beats are pretty simple to make. There's not a lot to it, but they sound good. They sound nice. So yeah, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. Make sure to check out my Instagram and my SoundCloud if you wish to do so. I also have all the songs I produced and my Discord and my beat store down in the description below if you wanna check that out. And I will see you guys next time.
Toast, you feel my pain for real. Been fighting my demons since I was a young, so I had to go and just face it. I don't pass my blunt no more, just stop that bitch and then I face it. Gotta watch those squad when you at the top, no stakes, be quick to take it.